Hi, welcome to part one of my review featuring Array of Champions, Core Rules and Player's Handbook. This is a high fantasy role playing game where you play as super powered champions. This means that the characters in the setting, most of the people in the world setting, cannot even come close to accomplish the things that you are able to do. Now, let's talk about the quality of the PDF. There is something important to notice. This book contains no art whatsoever. Even the cover illustration does not appear in the document. Everything is well written and explained, but I did spot a couple of typos. The background, the layout, shows this texture reminiscent of a papyrus or ancient document, so it feels like you are reading some sort of grimoire or something. The organization is good, and this is great because this is a 534 pages document. In general, I would say that the quality is decent, but lackluster in a few ways. Concerning the lack of illustrations, there are no fonts or typography that bring out the excitement of the setting, no colorful titles and such, and there is no character sheet, so you will have to create your own. Also worth considering is that the document has hyperlinks in the table of contents, but no bookmarks. Now let's talk about the contents. First you have an introduction to what this game is, alongside a preface that shares some of the thoughts behind the design process. Let's talk about the setting. 10,000 years ago, the sentient races of the material planes banded together for the third and final time in recorded history. Collectively known as the Santerans, they presented a unified force and defeated the vein of existence known as the Atlasians. While many fought bravely, victory would not have been possible if it were not for the champions, individuals who had awoken their inner heroic spirit. A traumatizing event. The strength of the heroic spirit sears the mind and the soul of their host extinguishing all skills that the heroic spirit deemed unnecessary. In exchange, the heroic spirit grants the champion great power. If cultivated, this power can surpass that of any other being on the material plane. Time is soft the death of wisdom, and even the long-lived and immortal races grow arrogant. The web of intrigue between nations grows. Wars are more common and sightings of Atlasians grow. To combat the growing chaos, the world will need more than a mere hero, it will need an array of champions. So what does this game have to offer? Engaging tactical combat. A six-phase combat round, unlike any other role-playing game. Enabling a variety of unique, flavorful and interesting actions for players to perform. The initiative system minimizes downtime, Players perform their actions at the same time each phase, in an epic back and forth with their enemies. You also have the sensation of actually being heroic. Or super heroic, I would say. This is not a game based around low fantasy or low magic. Champions are larger than life. Slashing through mountains, stopping time, and being in all places at once. But the villains have access to the same tricks and are as vile as the champions are heroic. This is a high fantasy setting, facilitating adventure unlike any other. Your vampire neighbor needs protection from these scary monsters? The local tavern proprietor is a banshee, make sure you pay off your tab. Be warned though, the Atlasians are a tangible threat to this peaceful coexistence. And don't worry about the setting, the setting does provide a form of grounding but Array of Champions is flexible, adaptable to your favorite setting, or even making your own. All that you need to play this game is the book, of course, and a variety of different types of dice, namely the D4, the D6, the D8, the D10, the D12, and the D100. The system is a D100 system, with all actions being resolved by rolling a D100. Damage dice and effects, though, can vary even with a basic martial character, hence the need for D4s, D6s, D8s, D10s and D12s. It's also recommended that you fill out a reference sheet, either one you've made from scratch or a copy of the one within this book. And what is a champion? In this RPG, champions are walking legends through virtue of awakening their heroic spirit. 
Every individual in the world has the ability to awaken their heroic spirit. However, the odds of awakening are low. The conditions and timing of awakening are wildly inconsistent. Furthermore, awakening is a traumatizing event. The heroic spirit destroys your previous skills and abilities, replacing them with the ones that it values most, allowing for an in-game explanation as to why the wise, powerful wizard who fought in three wars is suddenly so weak. However, the peak power of a character with a heroic spirit far exceeds the peak of one without a heroic spirit. So, while there may be a non-player character with 10 levels of ninja, they are not the same as a cunning hero on the path of the ninja. Lastly, leveling up is simply deepening your awakening to your heroic spirit. Therefore, the game master can be modular with level progression. Perhaps it'll take many sessions and in-game years before the party advances one level. Perhaps the in-game time will be mere six months before the party goes from first level heroes to demigods. The pacing is in the hands of the game master and the game master's playgroup, of course, to what they think is fun. You have the full support of the rulebook and the setting of Santerra to determine your own. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about character creation. So this is a very high fantasy and high powered setting. The characters are exceptional. If you have played games such as Exalted, it has a similar feel to it. But there are many mysteries concerning the Atlasians and the heroic spirit. The way that this spirit removes all of your skills and knowledge previously obtained through hard work is quite disturbing to say the least. But the tradeback is incredible, super heroic, perhaps godly power. Thank you for watching this part of the review, and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you, and see you later.